Yes. Hi. Sorry, Finn. Nicole. At least Cassidy wasn't at Merrill's when it... Well, she said enough, then... Blew up. You know the rules, son. I wonder what Merrill told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Sorry, Finn. That's just karma for dragging Daniel into this shit. At least Cassidy wasn't at Merrill's when it... blew up. Wonder what Merrill told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. But I'm not. I've done too many mistakes. I let everybody down. I lost Daniel. And I'm going to juvie. This is all bullshit. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know, I do, but I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. 
Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch- Oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. Joey, you are her boss. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. Pat Stevens' leg is better. Must be tough on Claire. Clat, so glad Chris is okay. That kid is a real superhero on his own. Yep. My art is trash now. Wow. Haven't seen you in a long time. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait, what's that? Super Wolf? Huh? Does that mean? It means that Daniel. Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? He's safe? I could see him again.
All I gotta do is find that page with Jacob's home. Haven Point, Nevada. Gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. 